Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Trip Planner on the TransLink website. So to begin, you'll have to go to the TransLink website, which is www.translink.ca. Once you're on the home page, you can use the small Trip Planner here, or I prefer to click on Schedules and Maps, Alerts and Trip Planner, and we'll go to the Trip Planner page which gives us a larger trip planner without all the advertising. Now as it says on this page, this is the trip planner. Tell us where you're starting from and where you want to go and we'll find the best route to get you there. And that's exactly what the trip planner can do. So as you can see, there are three steps. We're on step one and we need to say where we're departing from. So I'm going to click in here and I'll begin to type an address. 333 terminal and if I wait yes it will give me a suggestion that I can choose in the proper format for the trip planner so I'll make that selection and you see it fills in the address for me in the format that it prefers now if I didn't have an address I could choose from a list of popular locations so let's do that for the going to field I want to go to Metro Town so I'll click here select from popular locations and down below we'll find shopping districts and centers I'll click on that category and this will open a new window for me that gives me all the different shopping malls that I can choose from I look through the list and I find metropolis at metro town I click on that and you see it will fill it in up above here for me again in the format that the trip planner prefers now that it knows where I'm departing from and where I'm going to, it's time to say when we are going. So you can choose between departure time and arrival time. I'll stay with departure time and let's change that to 11.15 a.m. Here you can click on the calendar icon to choose the day. So I'll choose July 23rd, a Wednesday. If you would like, there are some advanced search settings below. For example, if you need wheelchair accessibility or if you want to bring your bicycle with you, I'll just leave it as the default, depart and arrive within 30 minutes of requested time. Now the next step, I click here and this will show you my results. So you can see we filled in all the information and it gives us a few different trip options. You can see the route you'd be on, when the trip would start and when it will end, the duration of the trip, how many transfers you have to make, how far you have to walk, what the price would be for the adult fare and for the concession fare, and if I want to, for any of these options, I can click on view the details and see more information. Now I can also choose to short sort my trip results by the trip time, walking distance or number of transfers. Generally you'll want to leave it as trip time. Again you could change these advanced search settings or you could refresh the routes or edit your trip plan. If we come a little bit further down below you'll see that there's no more information for me here. So what I want to do now is I'll choose one of these options. Maybe the first one, it seems to be one of the fastest and I'll click on view detail. When I do that it will show me a new page that will show me any alerts there are for this route, any information I need to know, and then down below step by step what I need to do. So it tells me I'll depart from the Main Street Science World station at 1114 taking the Millennium Line to VCC Clark and I'll arrive at Metro Town Station at 1126. Down below that, you can actually see a map which shows you all of the places along your trip. So, that's the Trip Planner with TransLink. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching.